What's up YouTube? Valentin the Mad here and today I have another dev discussion video for you. This one is with Jet Steam, the guy behind Guts and Glory discussing the current and planned features, the Kickstarter campaign and of course the response mechanics. So without further ado, here it is. Hey welcome to the show, please introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Jed Steen, uh, aka Hackjack, the creator of Guts and Glory. And uh, I've been working on this game for the past uh, year, year and a half. And just recently launched it on Steam Greenlight. It uh, quickly got greenlit, and um, now I found a publisher. So I just partnered up with Tiny Build, and we're kind of stepping it up to the next level. Okay, so first of all, what is Guts and Glory? <laughs> well, the easiest way to describe it is Guts and Glory is, is basically a 3D Happy Wheels. Um, that's like the most basic way to describe it. Um, it didn't exactly start off that way. Um, I was playing around with some different ideas, um, trying to come up with something similar to... Uh, turbo dismount or or bmng and uh m my friend and i were talking about it and just saying you know why don't they have you know more realistic characters in here you know why can't they just die bloody deaths and stuff like that and i was just goofing around and, and toying around with the idea and the second that i put this guy on a bike my friend is like dude that's 3d happy wheels that's you're making a 3d happy wheels i was like whoa that's genius so just kind of ran with that and started developing more and more and um kind of came up with this idea that guts and glory is like a big twisted game game show where you sign up and you your name could get drawn at any time so you, you could just be driving down the street and next thing you know uh your challenge begins and you have to make to the finish point while everything tries to kill you. <laughs> so that's the basic idea behind the game. And the gameplay is just to, to give players just a big open sandbox where they can create any type of track they can imagine. So if they want to make something where um, you're a father and son on a bike and you have to you know, do jumps across um, skyscraper buildings or <laughs> the Grand Canyon or anything you can come up with that you should be able to make that and share it with other players. So that's what I'm ho hoping for. That's the goal. Um, and that's that's what I'm working towards. Yeah, I have to say it sounds great. I'm a big fan of Happy Wheels. Spent many hours in that game and a 3D version of that sounds fucking awesome. <laughs> so I'm very much looking forward to this and... Uh, what are the current main features in the free demo we have right now? Uh, yeah, so I, I put out... <laughs> so I basically all of this started because I'd been working on this um, and nobody really knew about it for about a year. And then I was finally like, okay, I need to get some other testers out there besides my friends. So I put a post out on Imager just saying, you know, with a little gif, just saying, hey looking for some alpha testers if you're interested email me and within 24 hours that post went viral it got shared over to reddit and it got almost a million hits and so um from there things just got crazier um pewdiepie and some other big youtubers did videos of them and it just overloaded my system to where i that process wasn't even going to work anymore so i just said fuck it i put out a make it free to everybody just to do an open alpha test and give me feedback. So I put it out for free on IndieDB.com and uh, anybody that wants to try it out can go check it out there. And right now it's just got um, two of the characters available to play and a bunch of tracks. Well, technically three. What's that? Technically three. Yeah, technically three. Um, I'm working on some more. I, I just love getting the kid killed. I have to say it. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just got the father and son on a bike, and it's got uh, Earl the Redneck on his ATV. Um, but then, yeah, the third character is uh, the Yang family in their car. And then I got some other ones in the works, um, planning on maybe some sort of a flying character. Um, and 
different bike characters, motorcycle, maybe like a pizza delivery guy, something like that. Just tons of ideas, lots of things you can do with this game. So, but right now the main features are are those characters. Just several to say different... plus one for the pizza delivery guy. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty popular request. I get a lot of that one. Um, and uh, and for like an irresponsible mom type character, a lot of people want something like that too. So, <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. <laughs> so, and and uh, um, one of the most requested uh, track ideas too. Is somebody says I need to make like a Frogger type of level where you got to uh, cross busy traffic and stuff. <laughs> so we'll see about that. But um, yeah, right now it's just got those characters, a bunch of levels to try out, and uh, and it kind of showcases um, some of the gameplay, some of the things that come. I threw in a bunch of the different hazards. So there's like cannon turrets and crossbows and saws flying everywhere, landmines, just uh, quite a few different things. I think about a dozen different hazards so far. And um, all of this that's out there in the open alpha is just the tip of the iceberg it's just kind of the beginning of uh what i want this game to be so lots of potential to grow okay so let's talk about the rest of the iceberg so that's basically why i wanted to do a kickstart i've been um working on this in my spare time for the past year and doing doing this while working a full-time job and finishing up school so it's been really hard to get enough time to work on it properly so the idea behind the kickstarter is to get enough to fund me towards um, steam early access um, it's already been greenlit on steam and i'm planning on launching it in um, in the spring so if the kickstarter is a success then that'll give me the funds that i need to work on this game full time leading up to that early access launch so I can just make the game that much bigger and better before it actually launches. So that's the big goal behind that. Um, and plus I've been doing all this on the, on an old crappy iMac and uh, just testing on windows via uh, parallels. So it's just a pain in the neck and really slow process. So funds would help to get like, you know, a new computer so I can do the builds properly and, and, uh, hire a sound guy to get audio done and basically just make the game bigger and better and faster. Sounds good. Uh, now about some specifics. How about the ability to eject from vehicles and grab objects? You're <laughs> probably familiar with the jet yeah. levels from Happy Wheels. Yeah, that's, um, that's definitely something I'm planning on doing. Um, it gets a little more complicated when you're dealing with 3D. Um, I mean, the ejection part, that's super easy, but... Um, when you gotta, when you start adding characters, being able to move and grab onto stuff like that, it gets a lot more complicated because each of these characters is a hundred percent full-time ragdoll. So nothing's animated. It's all on the fly, um, just reacting to physics and stuff. So if it's something just as simple as turning the steering wheel or hitting a bump, um, it'll be a different reaction every time. So when I, when it comes from the character getting out of the vehicle and moving about or just being able to crawl around is a lot more complicated. So it's going to be more difficult, but it's something I definitely want to do. A lot of people requested it. And I think it'd be kind of cool to be able to, you know, make it almost there and then, you know, crawl your way across the finish line or whatever, or hop around on one leg. <laughs> but, uh, I got to check into that some more. That's something I, I plan on though. Now, how about free games after death or a uh, replay feature? I'm sorry. A free game after death or a replay feature? Oh, replay feature? Yeah. Um, I tried to do like some sort of a GIF recording thing, but it was kind of dropping the frame rates too much. So I'm gonna look at doing like um, real-time 3D recording, where what it does is the program records everything that's going on in the scene so that you can rewind it or play it back and forward and then look around at the scene. So you can pause it at any time and analyze the scene from any view you want. That's what I'm going to try to do for the replays. Yeah, definitely something I'm looking forward to. 
I had those few occasions where I lost a piece of my foot. <laughs> Somewhere in the beginning, it would be awesome to kind of go back and see where is that piece of foot. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's lots of... Or with the higher levels, with the huge fans and stuff. And then uh, you get dismembered. And who knows where the fucking lead <laughs> yep. goes. So. And I plan on adding like a camera switch to you so you can just switch between each character real quickly. So if the kid goes flying off the back, you can hit a button, see where the heck the kid went, and then hit a button and go back to you. <laughs> Alright, yeah, that sounds good. Now about the fun part, the response mechanics. Okay, so the response mechanics right now are um, pretty basic. Right now I'm just focused on getting the, the core... Uh, gameplay in place and out the door and then I can expand on it so right now um, basically each um, it, that video that I sent you kind of breaks it down a little bit further but basically right now it's just each character um, can has several different breakpoints um, around each major joint and basically if they get hit by something that's um, can cut or hit with enough force, it'll break that piece off. And, uh, and then of course spray blood all over the place and whatnot. Um, so that, that's just the very basics. And then from there, I want to add bone fragments that stick out of each section and like a spine that can either randomly, you know, get attached to the base of the neck or the chest area or whatever. And, flop about <laughs> and then um possibly add ligaments in there and um uh, add what ligaments like between like um kind of like in happy wheels where sometimes your leg or whatever doesn't ah, quite all the way stuff, right yeah it kind of just hangs on <laughs> so that one's a lot trickier to do so i put a question mark by that um and then, uh, of course, it's called Guts and Glory, so i got to add guts. So there's definitely going to be um, some basic guts, intestines, and um, brain, and stuff yeah, like actually, that. Yeah, actually, uh, on my phone here, I have this question in all caps. Where are the guts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guts are coming. The guts are coming. So that'll be a big one, because then you can have uh, interesting things happen, like, you know, getting slice in half by a saw and your intestines flying out the back and hitting the passengers behind you or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. How about the blood spinning mechanics? Are there going to be any improvements with that? Maybe puddling or... With, uh... Um, so one thing I want to take a look at is trying to make um, the blood permanent. So... There's different approaches to that. Um, the biggest thing is just trying to get it to where it doesn't grind your performance down to a halt. Um, so I'm going to take a look at some different methods of that and um, hopefully figure out a way to make the blood permanent. Right now they're just like decals that stick around on the ground. Um, but I want to get it to where they kind of project onto the surface better. Like right now, there's two different blood systems. One is just a decal that splatters around on the environment. Yeah, and uh, on the characters too, by the way. Yeah, and then the other one's on the characters where it actually um, projects onto them and it goes over all the surfaces like it should. Um, and that one looks really neat, but if I try to use that everywhere, it just grinds your frame rate down to nothing. So uh, the other method I'm going to take a look at actually um, changes the texture mapping of anything it hits and then that becomes permanent um, until you restart the level. Yeah, I think that's what I did in uh, Killing Floor 2. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, how about the animation responses? Kind of like wiggle me dead and stuff. You got cut in half, but it's not insta-death, and so you just kind of fly there wiggle. <laughs> yeah, so that would tie into the same system that you'd be able to use to grab onto things or move around. So what I'll be looking at is like a ragdoll um, animation program that would let me control characters that are still in the ragdoll state. So there's some there's some tools out there that kind of let you do that. I just got to mess around with that and write the right code to help make that work. Yeah, I think a thing like this would make a huge difference. Right now the character kind of goes limp. 
and if he would actually move all his <laughs> flying and stuff. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yeah, definitely something I want to look at. All right, so uh, anything else you want to add? Um, that's the basics of it. Um, you know, I'm, my next big goal is to get the uh, get a prototype for the level editor built, and then get it up on the Steam beta program. So that way, I can have more of a closed system where people that really love the game can get on there and and play test it, give me feedback, and we can continue and improve it up to the launch. And um, that's the point where I think things will get really interesting once there's a level editor because people can make anything. And uh, that's the big focus. And after I kind of get those core things out and all of that's functioning smoothly, then, um, then I can take a look at other possible game modes. So it's, it's pretty exciting. There's a lot we could do with this, so it just kind of depends on how much support the game gets. What are the other possible game modes? Um, so have you ever heard of that game, uh, Crazy Taxi? Yeah. So that that's one mode that we're kind of looking at where you can go pick up passengers, you got to deliver them to the other side of town as fast as possible, you know, but with the same ragdoll craziness going on and they're everybody's dying and falling out and stuff like that um one big one that um is highly requested is some sort of multiplayer um like a deathmatch type of thing or you know bicycle jousting or <laughs> something of that nature so that's another one that i'm looking at um and th there's just a lot of ideas out there just kind of depends on what people what what the gamers want the most yeah so they really like the deathmatch idea give everyone swords so you have the uh, environmental traps and you have the other maniacs with the swords yeah and it all becomes a bloody mess <laughs> and if the mess is permanent you see this clean town become yep. a mess of blood guts and limbs and whatnot <laughs> yep good old fun <laughs> Yeah, hope you can get that done. Sounds really cool. Yeah, that's probably the hardest one to tackle, um, just because doing physics um, over a network is really, really hard. Um, like, there's few examples that have true physics over a network. Um, one of them is Gang Beasts. Those guys, they figured out how to do that, but they have minimal amount of stuff going on on the screen at once. Um, but that's why a lot of times when you play an online game, like Call of Duty or Battlefield or whatever, there's only so much actual physics going on and a lot of animations and stuff are pretty stiff. So it's a it's a very difficult thing to master. But uh, local multiplayer for sure is much easier. So Yeah, kind of like in Arma 3 where you have this uh, physics synchronization where you can have characters hanging me there or leg <laughs> switching. It's kind of amusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So those are the kind of things I'd want to avoid. So it's uh, that one. That one's for farther down the road. But again, it all just depends on you know how much how much love this game gets. If there's a lot of support behind it, then that's more resources to be able to do more with it. So yeah, it just depends on how how many people get behind it. Yeah, I say I really hope to see it happen. I already backed it on the Kickstarter. It's pretty fun as it is. I want to see the improvements. All right. Well, thank you. Okay, thanks for coming. <laughs>